Uh, interested in seeing what this defense looks like Saturday night. How uh, how ready? And are you, Coach Rick? Use the term curious. Are you curious as well to see how it looks? Sure, I'm excited. I mean, uh, we got some guys that have invested a lot into this season uh, and have worked hard. Um, opportunity to play, opportunity to showcase your talents, opportunity to show what you can do. So um, we just gotta go play. Last year, um, Jordan Jenkins was saying he, looking back, he's kind of glad he got Buffalo as his learning curve. I mean, the fact that a lot of new guys are going to be playing for the first time in, in Death Valley. What are what concerns you the most about that and the potential crowd noise? None. I mean, the field noise is. I mean, the field size is the same. Um, <coughs> playing at home, um, you know, it's not like um, I don't think the crowd noise would be an issue if we were at home. It'd be a little bit louder. Um, hey, I mean, the field's the same wherever you play. Uh, they're a good team. Um, we got guys that, you know, got a chance to showcase what they can do. It's an opportunity to go play, and uh, we plan on doing it. Can you uh, can you offer a little bit of a scouting report? Obviously, there's only so much you want to give away, but I mean, in terms of their offense, mm -hmm. we know about Boyd, we know about Watkins, mm -hmm. you know, this Martavis Bryant, and Sharon mm -hmm. Peak. What are, what are the things that, uh, that that pop out to you when people are asking you about Clemson? Um, well, first of all, they're an explosive offense. Um, you know, they're going to run a lot of plays, um, and you know, you may do well for five or six play, then all of a sudden here comes an explosive play that gets 25, 30 yards, and that allows them to, you know, put a lot of points on the board. Um, you know, their offense is, their offensive line is a, is a group that uh, works well together. Um, they they really do try to be physical, you know, even though they spread you out, they're going to try to physically, you know, get after you with those guys and the runners. Uh, their skilled guys, you know, are talented, can make guys miss, can um, go home run balls with them. Um, and then the quarterback, you know, has the ability to, um, to, to make, you know, a guy miss and, and make things happen. Um, he can throw the deep ball well. Um, reminds me, you know, a little bit of Donovan McNabb when he was playing at Syracuse. So, um, you know, obviously they got talented guys and we got to be ready to play. There's too much made out of, you know, freshmen that are getting playing time right away in terms of uh, that stage and then the first game or, or you think, uh, you know, I know a lot of these guys playing mm -hmm. all-star games and they're on TV yeah. in high school and that kind of thing. Well, well first of all, you, you, part of the process of becoming a, a player and playing at the level that we want them to play at and they want to play at is understanding um, to do your job, to do what you have to do each down. Uh, when that play is over, go to the next play, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and, and we got to continue to, you know, focus on that because that's the main thing is to play – the play and do your job to the best of your ability. And when that play's over, line up and do it again. And your consistency and performance in doing that allows you to be productive as a player. And the more that we get guys on the same page as a team or a unit doing that, then our chances of being successful are, are greater. So, um, you know, I think if you're ready to play, you're ready to play. Um, you know, it's an opportunity. So we got to take advantage of it. Todd, have you had Vassar? back there at all yet? 